Sweet sixteen and bold as love The danger I've been dreaming of Sweet sixteen and bold as love The danger I've been dreaming of Sweet sixteen and bold as love The danger I've been dreaming of Sweet sixteen and bold as love it's KK Witchy today. Hope you guys are feeling good. Today I wanted to share um, how to make my own healing oil. And this one is for any kind of healing purposes, whether it be spiritual, emotional, or physical. It's an all-around healing oil that I like to use on myself. I do not make it for others, but I wanted to um, share this with some of you guys because I find it very important. Because around this time of year, I know a lot of us... Um, we're doing a lot of shadow work around this time of year. Me, myself, I'm getting ready to prepare to do mine. And I also know it's very, very important to heal some wounds, whether it be spiritual, emotional, or physical. You'll have to excuse me because I've been fighting with my dog too, so he's very rowdy today. So the first thing you'll need is a bottle or a container that you like to put your oils in. Me, I buy these little bottles um, on 13, I believe it's 13 moons. I'll add a link down below that way you guys can find them. They have all kinds of different bottles, um, small and big. This is an 8 ounce. And they're fairly, fairly cheap. They are. They're really, really cheap. The next thing you'll need is a personal item of yours. Me, this is hair from um, my head when I cut my hair a little bit. And I like to use this in some of the personal oils that I do with per personal spells too. You can also use, um, you know, blood, hair, fingernail clippings, anything like that. A necklace, if you're not comfortable with that. Just anything personal. dogs are stupid. Hush. Okay, some of the other things you'll need is a bowl or more on pestle, whatever you choose to use, or you can just use choose to use the bottle if you wish. So, I think I'll just use the bottle. So, you want to take your bottle, take the cork out, and next thing you'll need is cinnamon powder. Um, I use sweet cinnamon powder. You can also use cinnamon sticks if you don't feel comfortable with the powder. I'm out of sticks, so I'll have to settle with the powder right now. You'll also need alfalfa leaf. And the reason you use alfalfa leaf is if the oil itself cannot help you and if it's emotional um, and you need any kind of like counseling or anything like that, this will help you get the funds you need to get the help that you need. So it's also good for that, to help get the funds that you will need. Rosemary, um, this one is from the lovely Woody. <laughs> so thank you, Woody, again for the wonderful rosemary and other gifts you sent me way back. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. So, still rosemary. Um, and you know, I like to use some type of bark, whether it be um, oak or anything like that. So I have some oak bark in here that I'll be adding. And I believe I have some willow bark in there too. And willow is great for healing. You'll need catnip and leaf. Well, this is what I use, catnip and leaf. I'll need to refill that. And seawater. Now, seawater goes over your um, emotionals. Water is a good representation of emotion. Just because emotion can be like water sometimes. It can be very, very deep. It can be very, very fast. It can be very, very still. Just depending. somewhere and lay down you're driving me crazy also if you want to add any other personal touches you can feel free to do so um, this is not you know this way is just not the right way this is just how I do it so um, yeah let's get started also you can add any kind of you know stone that you feel fit to add in the oil if you like oil adding 
stones sorry like everything keeps going off and of course you'll need a base oil and the base oil that I'm using is grapeseed oil for this um, the reason being so is because I think a lot of um, healing can go a long way just like a grapevine so that's why I use grapeseed oil the first thing I'll be using is catnip and leaf I'm going to use just a sprig of that. Now this is going to be a thick oil because it does have a lot of ingredients to it. So just a little bit of that. And again, if you don't like a thick oil, you can take out some of the ingredients. If you feel like you don't need it. And stuff like that. The next thing I'm going to be using is my personal item. And this is just some of my hair. And this lets the oil know that it's just for myself. And I kind of eyeball it when I'm doing this. The next thing that I'll use is cinnamon powder. Again, you can use cinnamon sticks if you want to do that. Just use a pinch of that. Um, next thing you want to use is alfalfa leaf. Again, this represents some funds if you can't get the help you need by the oil so alfalfa leaf next thing rosemary I'll be adding Jasper quit ah oh, the baby's into everything You break some of my bottles, I'm gonna be mad. So that's rosemary. The next thing you'll want to add is your kind of bark. I just use a little piece. To represent grounding. And last but not least, I add the seawater and the oil. Now make sure you put your intention into these ingredients, that way they know what they're for. And lastly, I'll add my base oil. You can use any kind of base oil you feel that you want to use. actually not as thick as I thought it would be. Again, if you want to add a stone, you can. And last but not least, we will put our intention in it. Now, I usually say a few words. Um, my words are very, very personal. I don't like to share the words. Words only when I'm doing spells. But in this case, um, I, I feel that it's okay to share. So if you guys want to check out the chanting I do, I'll post it down below. Um, I really don't like to send the intention out like that. I like to do that on my own. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, this is how you make a healing oil. And it actually looks really, really good. Well, I think. I think that's one of my best oils I've ever did. <laughs> now, again, this goes over physical, emotional, um spiritual any kind of healing work that you may do also great to use during shadow work it covers any kind of that and if you have and if you want to make it for a specific intention make sure you let it know that it's just for this specific intention that you're planning on working on 
So um, thank you guys for sharing and I usually shake these um, before I use them. I usually wait mm, maybe a day or two to let the herbs soak up in the oil and let them work together. But after that I'm free to use it all I want and I will lay some stones around it and let the stones charge it while it's setting before I use it. So. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, and thanks for watching. Many blessings.